Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This week on the old Magic Roundabout, we got something a bit different. We got a Dinky Toys Brinks Map security van in the pale blue or sky blue and dark blue. This one is uh, complete as far as I can make out. It's got the mirrors and the doors, which are often missing. Anyway, as you watch this go around and check it out, i just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard and welcome back all the old friends of the channel. It's good to see you. Good to hear your comments. Good to read them. Okay, so this is a bit different. So let's get it off the magic. Get it on the bench and have a good look at it. Okay. Here we are then, on the bench, with the old uh, Brinks Security Services. That's what it says on the bottom here. Brinks Armoured Car. Uh, they did two of these. Uh, this one and uh, one with a slightly different colour. Basically the same casting. Uh, I think it's different decals, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But yeah, it looks like somebody's... Uh, I don't know, it looks like somebody's bought parts for this because that's obviously not painted nor are the mirrors here and here, sorry, here and here uh, yeah, apart from that, it's complete because normally you get these with the, oh, the doors missing, the mirrors are missing because these are only plastic, the doors are plastic and they are a bit, you have to be careful when you open and shut them they're not the best in the world because they're on plastic hinges Plastic hinges there. Okay. Got a couple of guys in there. See, I mean, they're, they're, they are flimsy, so... It's going to be... Well, well, we'll have to investigate on that anyway. Well, both doors open anyway. There's some waffling. So just be careful with them. I don't know what repo parts are like. If these are the repo parts, um, they're good. We've got some gold in the back there. Don't know if you can see it in there, but it's right at the back there. You'll see it. We'll take it apart. There's two guys in there. So that's what we've got. That's what we've got. I thought I'd do this one. It's been kicking about for ages. And I've got another one, actually. As it happened, but it's missing the doors and stuff. So I thought I'd do this one first. Uh, it's like a sky blue. So I've got some sky blue. And uh, like a darker blue underneath. It's number 275. This one, number 275. Uh, 20mm tyres on the back here, which are all shot, as you can see. Literally. I think that's the only one that's worth saving. So there we go. We'll get the tools out, and then uh, we'll get it cracking and take this thing apart. Get this apart, then. Down the base. Just lift and separate. Quite a chunky, heavy base that actually. Some corrosion in there on these suspension springs. So we're going to have to grind the end of these off to get these wheels out there. And which one? This one, I think. Yeah, it's usually opposite. Usually have it opposite. I don't know why. Maybe it's in the press and they turn it round when I do it. I don't know. Right, we'll get the tyres off anyway. Get these off here. Okay. So, yeah, so we can get them off easy enough. So that's one job to do. Inside, let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, so I think it's fairly straightforward. There, you can see the door hinges there, look. There, plastic doors there. So if I put my screwdriver in there, you can see where it, where it comes up. And against there, so you can see it stops there. So if you were wanted to push it any further that way you're liable to snap that which is not a very good design you're liable to snap that there because it only goes in there that's it 
And they're going to say, you'll probably end up going like that as a kid. I think, well, do all right a bit more and it'll snap. So that's not the greatest of ideas. Same with this side. So having that being said, let's see if we can get this out. So just basically lift that out now. There's your doors. They should just fall out now. Your back doors. This, they'll be the same, I think. Yeah, they they grip better. But there again, you can still bring them back too far and snap them. I think it would. I think they were going cheap at the time. So I'm thinking you need to push that out. I would say to get that door to release. Yeah. Okay. And I think I've just broke it. Yeah. I've just broke it. That's obviously not the way to do it. Bit of super duper on there, I'm afraid. So how else are you going to get them doors out then? Oh, just pull them, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Just pull them. Well, lesson learned there. Just pull the doors out. Okay. Right out. So that's <laughs> oh, dear. That's your first uh, lesson of the day. So that's a casting. Pretty straightforward. Hefty casting. So that's that. There's your solid interior on Oh, I see. When it was, when it's when this is in the back, it looks brown. Look at that. It looks different colour when it's in the back there. So there you go. So we might be able to bling this up a little bit. Actually, we might be able to put a bit of silver on the floor. What do you reckon? A bit of silver on the floor. We'll paint them. Yeah. You can. Uh, I think this came with a trolley and some gold bars i'm not sure i will check you yeah, have got the two guys there yeah what we call them fred and perry they're both legless been on the poplar both legless fred and perry right i don't know whether they'll yeah they're glued in so I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to mess with them. I'm not going to repaint them because there's nothing wrong with them. They're clean. So, and I'll probably leave that steering wheel in there because that's clean as well. Just give it a wash. Yeah, that's job done. Uh, clean these windows up to their side windows. If I remember, yeah, yeah, their side windows. And that's a front window. So we'll give it a good old wash and a clean up. See if we can buff that, that up and that up at these side windows. Oh, it's going to be a... Fairly straightforward job, except for an idiot here breaking the um, breaking the door. But never mind. These, I'm not even going to mess with them. I think they look like they've been glued in, so I'm not going to even try and break, try and get them out. No, leave it. Just leave it. Yeah, we'll put these in the ultrasonic or something and give them a good clean. Alrighty, and this one, and then this one. Super glue that back on there, that'll be fine. No worries, mate. Right, tyres, as we know, we're all shot. That can go in a bin. Go in a bin. Go in a bin. We got a good one. We have a good one. Right. Get my up. Uh... Yeah, these are plastic hubs, so be be careful with these. All right, it's quite a long axle on here, so we should be all right. Ooh, that's a bit ferocious. Put all that on my finger. recommended you put a little bit of protection over the hub if you want to
if you're not 100% happy what you're doing put a little bit of tape or something over there it's your choice and this this wizard that I'm using it has it it is at its lowest speed setting so well, I could quite easily use a file we let the axle spin a bit We'll let the axle spin a bit. about there anyway I would say there you go it's not far off it I try and get as least off as possible that's why I just sort of being careful with it it's spinning a bit because I when I put them back in it's just it makes it easy to peen it over right I'll get the other one done and then we'll get it in a stripper out the stripper out the stripper yeah Came out quite nice, the paint didn't take too long to get off here. Pretty clean casting. Nothing major going on here. Yeah, no major dents, dings or anything like that, so we're good to go. Yeah, there's no casting lines really to talk of. So, ready for the paint. That's that bit. That's the base. Springs suspension cleaned up nice. I was, there was a little few little bends in that. I'll straighten that out now, so that's okay. Not a great deal of bend, just think as that one there is a bit bent. Yeah, so that's ready to paint. Got the wheels over here, they're ready for paint. The doors down here, clean them up. I've just super glued this one. That's put, so I had a job to super glue that on there. The bloody thing wouldn't stick. A bit better now, but there was a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, we're going to get some paint on then. We're going to put a white primer on here because I've picked the lightest grey that I've possibly got. Um, this is more of a, like, a... Whatever colour. I thought it was, a, like, more of a sky blue, but it's not. It's it's uh, quite light. So, anyway. Going to go with the paint. Okay, that's all the colour painted. This is the lightest grey that I've got. Come out quite nice. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. This is the, uh, the blue base. Dark blue base. So that should go in like that. There you go. Yeah, there's different vari variations of shade on these things. So I'm not that fussed over it. So, yeah. So that's that. All the doors and wheels are done. There's the doors. So now we're going to put some details on. That's what we're going to do now. I thought we'd make a start. I'm going to do a black grill. There. And I'm going to do the lights and that one bar across there silver and leave the rest so that's what I'm going to do now my missus has been shopping on Teemu and she bought these for me to try I don't know if they're going to be any good but you never know you never know <coughs> excuse me the handles are a bit thin for me but you never know we'll see we will see. Straight away, I've noticed. It's 
got a long hair sticking out of the end. That's it. So we'll give it a go. See what they're like. God, we had some wind last night. There's been typhoon blowing through here last night. Flipping heck. I had to nip out in the middle of the flipping dark trying to tie things down. But it seems to have calmed down this morning and it's quite a nice day. Hence I've got this shed door open and no heater on. So it can't be bad, can it? Can't be bad. Yeah, it'd be quite industrial, these vehicles. They did some with a white roof. I think they did a version, a dark grey version, with a, for the Mexican bank, I think it is, with a white roof. I tell you, I'm not getting on well with this brush. Not for this sort of work, anyway. Do do do. So a dog that just come in. What do you want? Hey. Eh? We want come for a nose. She likes it in here with the doors open, so she can sit in here and look out the garden. So if you hear he's snuffling and sniffing and weird noises, it's not me; it's the dog. All right, we're getting there. What have we got? Five minutes. So we get in there. Brushes are all right, but they're, they're a bit soft and they keep collapsing. You only uh, you go along, they, the point stays there, but then it all opens up behind the point, which makes it a bit awkward. But I'll give them a go. 
We shan't dismiss them straight away. We might be okay if we're doing lights with the Tamiya clear. We'll see. Right, okay. Not bother about paint getting on that bit of a bar because I'm going to paint it anyway. Okay, I'm going to carry on doing this then, and I'll get back to you when it's done, I'll show you what I've done. That's all the details done <clears throat> on the front there. Marker lights or indicator lights at the top there, all around there. Did the black radiator. I just did a little bit on there. I didn't go mad round all around there. I didn't see the point. Uh, I got the decals on because I needed to try these because these were these were gifted to me, and uh, they look quite old, but luckily they held up. I had to put some red marker set in there. Pretty bad because it was um, needed to get in between them two lines. So they're all, that's all on. I've got a number plate on the back there. That probably doesn't mean much, but uh, lights there, and I painted these black, because these were rubber on there, so they were painted black. So that's basically it, really, on that bit. The doors, I've just put the badges on the doors there, and I've put a bit of Molotov for the mirror on both of those and I had an additional bit so I suck a bit on the back door as well. Uh, the base, then the steps in silver and uh, whatever. Now I've done just to peen these over but these tires on here, these were um, donated to me by Nigel. He, he sent me a load of code, he does a lot of code three work and he sent me a load of Code 3 tyres for um, different lorries. And I've been really dying to use these on one of these dinky or corgis. But all the ones I tried them on, they wouldn't fit under the arches because they were too too tall. But this is perfect. Fits a tree. So thanks, Nigel. And they look nice. Got a good tread on them. Yeah. So there you go. So now... It's assembly. To, oh, and I, and I went and had a look at my matchbox. There's a matchbox um, security wagon there. Um, group 3, I think it's called. And I knew I had sort of rattled around in the back of one of them. And it was this. So we just chuck that on the side there like that when we're finished, can't we? Yeah. Okay, so it's assembly time then. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, we've seen the interior, haven't we? I'm not going to touch that. I have cleaned it up, washed it. But I'm not going to mess with it. 
leave it as it is. It's not too bad. He scratches a bit mucky, but there's, there's a few marks on it, but I'm not going to mess about with that. That's fine. So, it's uh, assembly time, isn't it? Right, the magic carpet's out. Let's get it's put together again. Uh, I've gone ahead and put these back doors on uh, because they're a bit... This is the broken one and I'm still very dubious about that one. So I'm not going to mess with it. I've got it on, but I ain't going to mess with it. This one is all right. Okay. These doors are not very clever. They're a bit flimsy. Right, so they were on and working. Right, so now what we have to do, we put the ever doors on, the drive, get the right way around. Let's get this out of the way so I've got a bit of arm space. Pop these doors in. I don't know why they made these plastic. So they're not, it's a horrible plastic, that is. It's a very waxy horrible plastic don't like it at all it's not very nice to work with so i get them two doors in like that okay and drop the interior in it's not an overly complicated model this to do it's just them doors are a pain right then you hook this obviously at the back there into there line it up with the hole Come on, jump, line it up, there you go. Line up with a hole, a bit of super duper. Can I have a bit of super duper in? Drop that in there. Give it a second or two to bite. Yeah, so we're pretty much, we're all right. Yeah, so I'm just be careful to do with that door. It's I have glued it, but it took me a while to get a, a particular glue. I to use a mixture of glues to get that to fix. And because it's right on the hinge point there, it's very, very weak. So it's not going to get play with anyway. And you can see why some of them aren't been, haven't been painted. They've just left bare plastic as a factory because it's a horrible plastic. If anybody's done one of these, you'll know what I mean. Right. Let's get it. There you go. Let's get it on the old uh, Majerka. These should open all right. See, even these are flimsy. So I'm not going to open them too far. Yeah, not a great design, dinky. Get it on the Magic. This is what we started with, an old tatty, dinky toys, Brinks mat, security van. Yep, so have a look at it. And now have a look at it when it's all done. Have a look at this. Feast your eyes on this bad boy. All right then, all done and all dusted. Dinky toys, Brinks mat, <coughs> security wagon yeah got a few extra details just to bring it out a little bit done the radiator headlights marker lights or indicator lights uh did the steps put some different tires on it completely and they pretty much fit nicely couldn't do any better than that yeah in the light gray with a dark blue base doors on got a bit of gold trolley going on there look found that in yeah, I explained to you about that back door. I mean, it does work, but I'm not going to mess with it in case it breaks again and nightmare. Black rubber bumpers at the back there. Yeah, it was something different. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Just been sat there and I thought, well, am I going to do it or not? And I thought, yeah, I'll do it. So there you go. All done. Onwards and upwards to the next one. So if anybody wants to do one of these... Just be careful that the doors, I don't know what the repo doors are like, I really don't know. If one of these was a repo door, then it's, it might be better than the original dinky plastic. 
because I would imagine the repo door has been made out of resin and it's probably a bit tougher than these horrible plastic things that I've got on here. So anyway, look forward to your comments and we'll see you all again next week. We will never restoration. So whatever you're doing, be happy, enjoy yourselves and we'll see you again next week. Bye for now. See you later. And we're going to cut it on the side view. Here we go.